r slash ask reddit goodwill thrift shop workers what are some of the strangest things you've found in the donations i was a receiving and loading lead at a thrift store for a few years we had this guy that cleaned out storage units for a living and then he'd dump whatever he couldn't flip with us for a tax slip he pulls up and we're going through it all pretty nice stuff looked like it was an estate sale we get it all unloaded and then we start snooping through to see what needs to get brought to where and we find this green glass vase filled with sand. I started pouring the sand out into the trash so we could figure if the vase was worth using. That's not sand. Somehow we ended up with an unmarked. Full learn. We've had some nipple clamps on a chain. A rampant rabbit with car charger. A jug in the shape of a tit and a book with a hole in it that you stick your dick in for a novelty puppet show. Oh and there was also a mobile phone with a bunch of photos of a local policeman wearing his girlfriend's underwear. I securely deleted those. He owes me a get out of jail free card for that. A high school diploma still in its leather case. We were selling it for $1.39. Also a porn movie inside a Clifford the Big Red Dog DVD case. I did find a shirt with a huge picture of a dead fly on it. I was sorting out some donated items and come across an unusual set of tools. Through some research. We discovered that it was a full transorbital lobotomy tool set. It got donated to a local university for display. Apparently. A vintage set in good condition can sell for around $1000. Dirty laundry. It happened so often. That we had to wear gloves to go through clothing. Washed everything at least once to be safe. Who gets don't wearing their underwear and is like. Meh I'll donate it and not wash it. Edit. To answer common questions. No it wasn't goodwill. It was small thrift shop in Chicago land. In the back we had 7 washers and dryers. And a team constantly going through clothing. A lot was thrown out. Used journals. Highlights include someone recounting the time they bit someone. And a tale of an explosive funeral. They make for a good read. But why wouldn't you throw them out? A classmate of mine found a human skull that was donated. It still had remnants of human on it. They reported it to the police and turns out it was part of an active murder investigation one state over. Finally a question I can answer. I once found a signed first edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Strange and why would anyone give it away? Managed to buy it for 50p and it's honestly my prized possession today. A grinder with weed still in it. And somehow a suitcase full of dildos made it onto the floor and was brought to our attention by an elderly lady who was wanting to purchase the suitcase but didn't want the extra stuff inside. I still think a customer had to have somehow snuck a bag of dildos in and dumped them there since anything going to the floor is opened and sprayed with disinfectant. Plus it was heavy so it definitely would have been opened if it arrived that way. Either way it made for an interesting day at work. Edit. I forgot to add money. We were allowed to keep any money we found. Usually it was the occasional few bucks in a purse someone forgot. Other times it could be big bills or one lady locked out and found a stash of around $2000 in $2 bills in a trinket box. Found a cup shaped like a man with a giant erect dick. Snickered at it and pointed it out to my co-workers while we were clocking out. My manager freaked out and took it off the shelf. I feel bad that I got dick man cup taken off the market. I'm sure somebody would have treasured him. My manager said she came to the shop once and there were bin bags waiting at the front of the store. It was obvious to her going through the bag that a guy had just tipped all of his ex-girlfriend's possessions into bin bags and had donated them to us. All of her possessions. Vibrators included. Was doing community service at a goodwill. A Vietnamese guy pulls up drops off a couple trash bags and dips. We start looking through it all and I find a full 90 CT bottle of 10 mg oxycodone pills. A trio of mariachi band figurines. That were made of prunes. I came across a 1906 sewing machine made in my hometown and the UK in a thrift store in my now hometown 2000 miles away. It's not strange or weird. But was kind of thrilling to find a remnant of another time from my homeland in my now adopted country. I was 16 and in charge of going through donations. Pricing them. And putting them out for sale. 
I came across something I didn't recognize so I did what I always did and slapped $0.25 on it and put it out. A few hours later a lady brought it back to my boss in the donation room and told her we shouldn't be selling crack pipes. Oops. Wife worked there as a teenager. Worst thing she found was a newborn baby who just passed. A woman high on drugs gave birth in the street. Freaked out and dumped her baby there. Wife found the baby. Called police. And the woman was arrested for neglect among other charges. Managed to dodge murder charges somehow. I've found a ton of weird stuff. The old ladies I worked with called stuffed animals stuffies and I always thought it was strange. Well one day we get a big box, 2x2 feet, labeled stuffies. They opened it up and it was full of dildos. Butt plugs. Handcuffs. All kind of sex toys. I've never heard so much hootin' and hollerin' in my life. Sounded like a pack of coyotes. Edit. I also found a VHS tape of Lost in Space when I was talking to a coworker. Pulled out the tape and $70 cash fell out. Maybe someone forgot about their hiding place. THX for the silver. Homie. My boyfriend volunteered at a local thrift shop for a little while. One day he was going through donation boxes and found a peculiar ceramic mission with liquid in it. After a little research it turned out to be 30 YO Christian Brothers brandy. Only 100 bottles were made in celebration for their anniversary. Since the thrift store can't sell liquor. He was able to snag it. The brandy was so good. I was a stalker. Not working directly with donations. But goddamn. So many people donate vibrators. All the way from top of the line Hitachi magic ones to retro lil metal things that look like a Wiimote. I worked in donations. In the same day we got a pickled baby tiger shark and a coin purse made from a kangaroo scrotum. Edit. For everyone wondering how I knew. It still had the original tag on it. Me and my co-workers were guessing it was an unwanted gift someone felt bad about throwing away. It was not the same person that donated the shark. Who knew my most upvoted comment would be about kangaroo balls. Not a worker but people used to illegally dump in front of the local Salvation Army and one time I found an antique vibrator from the 1950s it was in the box and everything. Not sure what happened to it but they were selling on eBay for $1000 last I checked. I've read here that ashes of cremated loved ones is a super common donation. Lots of people just think it's of ours at recently deceased Aunt Bertha's house. Not realizing it actually contains the earthly remains of her husband Chuck. I imagine there are plenty of people who donate it fully knowing what it is. Tampons. New and used. And a camel hair coat with $750 in one of the pockets. We knew who donated it. So we gave it right back. Finally my time has come. So many weird donations that I won't even get into because y'all won't believe me but the strangest time was when a young man donated a bag of clothes and then a small gecko hops out. We were honestly all lost at what to do about the little guy until the donor swings back about one hour later looking kinda frantic asking if we had seen his lizard. We kindly showed him where it took up residence under the porch used for smoking and we never saw either of them again. Another time a woman dropped off a wedding dress and an accordion with no explanation but she seemed rather upset. What a weird job. Not a worker but at the local Salvation Army I opened a drawer and found a used tampon. Not me but my cousin. In a big dump of stuff found an entire box of dildos. Like. All kinds. From vibrator ones to ones clearly made from specific molds. In this box of absurdity was one with like. 30 condoms on it. Weirdest shit I ever saw. OFC they threw them away. Edit. We knew some were from custom molds because most of them were clear or colored. But a few were. Very realistic. One day a Russian lady came in with about 6 gorgeous evening gowns. She kept saying to us that she'd had them since she was young. When she lived in Russia. That they were high end designer dresses. We couldn't read the tag. From my own knowledge of sewing dressmaking. I can tell you these things were exquisite. I was working with the books. But I managed to get a good look at them and the seams were breathtakingly neat. Hand embellished with beads. Crystals. Hand embroidered details on some. They'd clearly been taken well care of too as the colors weren't faded or discolored. 
and she'd even brought them to the shop in garment bags. She said she'd brought them in because she was well past wearing them. I think she was in her 60s. They certainly wouldn't fit her. And she wanted some young woman to get to experience the joy of wearing them. These dresses were fucking gorgeous. Y'all. Unfortunately I left before they were taken out of the back room into the shop so I never saw who bought them. They were probably bought as Deb's dresses in the end. I wasn't a worker there but growing up I got all my clothes from Goodwill. Mum did the best she could with what we had. We were dirt poor and I can remember only one time I got new clothes growing up. Anyway mom bought me this ugly jacket because mine was too small. After trying it on I discovered a $50 bill in the left pocket. Showed mom and we ordered a single pizza from Pizza Hut. First time I had stuffed crust and to this day Pizza Hut is super nostalgic because it reminds me of my mother. I think she used the rest of the money for gas. Super thankful to this data whoever donated that jacket with a 50 in the pocket. I didn't work at a thrift store. But one of my dad's friends did. One day a large instrument case came in. Inside of it was a Breedlove Black Magic acoustic bass guitar which, when the thing was released, retailed for over a grand. We snagged the thing for a cool $300. Whole set of BDSM gear. An entire box of ball gags. 20 0 different types of shoes, stiletto heeled leather boots. Four or full leather bodices, corsets. A sex swing. Three latex body suits. A bunch of crotchless underwear, a paddle, and two whips. I just don't get why he donated it. What the hell is Goodwill gonna do with it? Also, who has an extensive collection of BDSM gear and one day goes like I am over it, better clear out my garage. Also, all of it was poorly hidden under ragged Anaheim Ducks jerseys. Never looking at Ducks fans the same way again. Another time someone donated an entire set of replica Hussar armor. Which was easily worth several grand and in good condition. Edit. First one was also maybe my third day on the job. And I didn't know how to ask my supervisor what I should do. A human skull. We named him Billy. Of course the police were called and they came and picked him up. I can say that my grandmother almost donated a 1958 Gibson ES335 to the Goodwill in the mid 90s when I was a teenager. If I wasn't learning how to play the guitar at the time it would be long gone. It was her second husband who died of a heart attack in the 70s. It sat in her attic for 20 years until she gave it to me. My mom used to work for Goodwill. She's found rather neat items. One time she found $5,000 in someone's old jeans. She was kind enough to return that to its rightful owner by looking into who donated the items. And she found a hand grenade in an old jacket. I worked in Goodwill at donations and maybe the most unique thing I found was a framed photo autographed by Stone Cold Steve Austin. I worked at a new and used bookstore in Memphis. Sometimes people would just donate loads of books. A bible came in one day which looked like it was a few hundred years old. An expert looked at it and turned out it was bound in human skin. Bookstore donated it to the library. My time to shine. I'm a manager at a large chain thrift store and this story is from when I was a pricer. So I priced the clothing before it went to the sales floor. It's pretty normal to find a small amount of cash in a pocket every so often. But one day I was pricing a blazer and I checked inside the inner pockets. As you do. And found two envelopes with Chinese characters on them with $1000 cash in each. Inside the same blazer we found a rubber banded stack of like 25 credit cards rewards cards and an expensive looking watch. We tried to contact the guy but his phone was disconnected. I think he probably died and some family member just donated all his stuff without checking it. Anyway. I only got to keep $300 of it but hey. That's $300 richer than I was before. A couple other memorable ones my co-workers have found in the past. A thick bag of cocaine. Loaded weapons. A box of live kittens. I was working at Goodwill in North Carolina and someone traded in a boxed copy of Stadium Events for the original Nintendo. I didn't know anything about it. A lady bought it and resold it to a nearby shop for something like $10,000. I found out because a news team came in about it reporting the story and I was the one who processed the donation. I really shit the bed on that one. 
I was so naive when I started working at a thrift shop. Thinking everyone was playing jokes on me. That was until I opened a box with a gimp suit in it. Along with a few toys. But over the 5 years I worked there I saw it all. Sex toys. Cum stained lingerie. Ashes. Weapons. Got a box of someone's personal files. It was all her records for plastic surgery with her credit card details and SIN number. Everything. The most memorable moment was when a very elderly worker priced a huge bong as a vase and put it out on the sales floor. I heard some kid was really happy to buy it for $3 the cashier told everyone after he sold it. Yay people just don't care sometimes. We have seen a moving truck come with grandma's house basically packed up in it and dropped off to us besides the jewelry box. Family photos everything. We found a 9k ring in the pocket of a jacket from that one and more jewelry stashed in clothing pocket. Shows the family never even looked. I managed one for 3 years. Paddle boat. Aquarium with water and fish in IT. 100s of pounds of bird seed. 1000s of packets of assorted flower and vegetable seeds. 365 copies of return from which mountain. A bit late to the party. I posted this before so I'll just copy and paste it. I worked at Goodwill for a short time. It wasn't exactly a cool thing we couldn't sell. But nevertheless it was a funny story. One of my fellow employees was telling me about how someone donated a piece of wood, or I should say left a piece of wood. As a joke she put a price tag on it for $10,000 and said it was a piece from Noah's Ark. But strangely enough, someone seriously believed it and wanted to buy it. Needless to say management wasn't happy and quickly removed it and threw it away. Not a worker. But my mother is. Someone keeps donating letters addressing issues with a town like. There is a pothole on so and so street. Then later. Thank you. The pothole is fixed. I find it amusing. They spend time looking at what is wrong and writing it down. Ah something I can contribute to. In college I was one of the people that directly sorted donations. I've seen it all. Vibrators. Boxes of dildos. A nunchuck collection to name a few. On more than one occasion have we found large amounts of money stashed away in hollowed out books. Usually $1000 plus in new bills. The one story that sticks out the most was this middle aged man who consistently came on Saturday evenings to donate used underwear. Bags and bags of men's used underwear for almost 3 months straight. Then suddenly he just stopped. Mum worked at a charity store. Wedding dresses were donated depressingly often. The strangest thing was some antique Victorian underwear in perfect condition. She ended up keeping that one after clearing it with her boss. Last week I was in Goodwill and I found a small booklet called Porn for Mothers. I opened the book expecting full on smut. But it was a bunch of photos of attractive. 20-30 year old men taking care of a baby saying things like don't worry honey. I'll take care of the baby tonight. You go out with your friends to happy hour. You deserve the night off. Strangest thing I found was a lock of hair attached to a death certificate. We kept it for a while but no one ever claimed it. Saddest was a bunch of brand new baby clothes and brand new baby items accompanied by a how to cope after a stillbirth book. Actually made me and my co-worker upset colon. I worked at Lake Austin Goodwill here in Austin, Texas. One day I was sorting donations and someone had donated a very nice. Ornate wooden box with pretty inlay. I turned over the box to look for a maker's mark so I could price it appropriately and poof. Ashes fell all over me. Lots of ashes. Yes. Those kinds of ashes. I'd like to think it was just the forgotten remains of a once beloved pet. But it was way too large of a quantity of ashes to just be a dog. Someone had most likely. And hopefully unknowingly. Donated grandma's cremated remains. Which were now literally coating me like some sort of satanic deep frying batter. Needless to say I requested to go home early. I proceeded to take many. Many showers and scrubbed my body very hard. Till my skin was red. It was. To say the least. Very traumatic. A friend of mine worked at Goodwill and someone dropped off a bag of clothes soaked in vomit and cat piss. I worked at a Goodwill in Kansas City for about 8 months. Worst working experience of my life. 
Saw several weird things come through the donations. But one does stick out in my mind. Was a paper plate that was turned into an art project by, presumably, a small child. It was laying face down. Had a name on it. Lots of glitter and tassels and such. I grabbed it to look at the front. And I see a very colorful, glittery swastika on the front of the plate. I've seen all types of dirty clothes. Sex toys. Rare collectibles. Etc. But this one left me speechless. Worked at Valley Village as a teenager. I can't think of anything really crazy. Sad stuff though. A woman who I guess had alcoholism and died. Photo albums. Antidepressants. Male ETC. Basically just garbage. Sometimes what to me seemed like loads of laundry. Just obscenely dirty clothes. Like someone just didn't want to do their laundry. That was a wild place to work. Often would argue with people who would dump little garbage at the donation center cause they were moving or whatever and they wanted to get rid of it. After log weekends was the worst. The whole parking lot would be covered in garbage. They've put up a gate now since I left. Worked at Goodwill for a total of two years. The craziest donation had to be the time right before I started. Someone dropped off a small suitcase with a round oz or more of stale weed in it. Cops were called ETC. But no one was caught. My manager would always bring that story up. I have seen many sex toys. Sex swings and way too much dirty underwear. Best part was going through the clothes and getting to keep any money you find in the pockets. Also many other drugs, pills etc, and weed pipes were found in hoodies that I lost count. Working at Goodwill was an experience. Not a worker there. But I found a first edition of a book of Beethoven's letters by D.R. Noel from the 1800s. Edit. Noel was a scholar on Beethoven, Mozart, music and history. His books went through a lot of prints and during his era and he was a very celebrated author. Bear in mind that this does not mean I own the physical copies of Beethoven's letters. Rather this is just a collection of them in a book. If anyone is interested in reading Beethoven's letters, they are available here at Gutenberg's website. Come to think of it. I also once found a Mozart Ladro figurine for $25. I don't think that the owner of that particular store knew how much it was worth in mint condition with the box and paperwork. P is a huge fan of Mozart, even a moderator of our Mozart. I just had to get it. I also found this Ladro Al for $5. It was a complete steal. RWTF garage sale has a lot of great weird thrift store finds. My personal favorite is this horseshoe. Other great ones. 5000 coats of paint on a wood block. Jesus chair. Tooth clock. A DVD vending machine. Pizza face. Fart jar. Forever alone statue. Personally. The weirdest most interesting thing I have found was my Halloween sweater. When I was about 16 I worked at Goodwill for about 6 months. There was this old homeless man who used to try and sneak inside to sleep and stuff like that. Every day he'd get kicked out pretty quick by one of my female co-workers. After about a month of working there with her, the homeless man came up to the counter she was working at, gave her a target bag filled with rocks, and left. We opened the bag and find a doll underneath about a layer of rocks. It was so friggin creepy. The doll looked exactly like her. We flipped it over and the back had her full name sewn into it. She quit about a couple days later because she was worried about that homeless man coming back to the store. A fetus. I could say a bag of wet leaves. Dead dog. Literal shit. Used condoms or even coffin certification for a child's coffin. Nope. I was 18 and was going through the day as normal. My manager was talking to me while I sorted through clothes. I came across a bag and there was a pink towel inside. Not thinking. I threw it into the salvage bin where it opened up. My manager picked it up thinking it was a clump of paint. Screamed and freaked out. Yeah. I small fetus in the center. The police were called. They checked the cameras. I was interviewed and then they did a whole investigation on who donated the towel. Since the baby was still intact for the most part. And how it wasn't decomposed. They were able to pinpoint the donation back to the day before. They found that after hours of our donation cut off time. Like 1 in the morning. 
a black van pulled up and dropped off the bag with other donations. They were able to get the license plate too. My aunt's a cop and had to go investigate a donated hand grenade. Edit. People keep asking if this happened in city. So apparently it's super common in America. For the record. Keep it classy. San Diego. Not something I've found particularly but something very strange. Every month and a half or so. A man would come by right before we closed and would donate a single blank CD. Every single time. My co-workers and I would always put it in and see if anything was on it. There never was. Someone donated an entire trash bag full of dirty diapers. Sex toys. Lots of sex toys. Some older. And more naive. Workers actually priced them and put them in the sales floor. An old electronic chessboard that was somehow worth $2000 plus. Some rich old lady came in and donated a ziplock bag full of gold and platinum jewelry. It was real. Huge beanie baby collections. Guess someone finally figured out after 20 years that they weren't a solid investment. It's something you hear about but I never really saw before. Maybe not the strangest but you actually do find some cool old shit people think is worthless. Cool job for a while. Edit. Drinking some beers now. Ask a former Goodwill employee anything. If you want to get nothing in return, you can like and join my discord, there is a link in the description.